the Davis administration running on high fuel as it now attempts to garner public support for those two new pieces of legislation meant to drastically reform the country's energy sector. The electricity and natural gas bills passed in the House of Assembly Wednesday, but as Corvo Pyfirm says, lingering questions persist. We're in a crisis. We have to fix BPL, and I am not here to play political games. The opposition had an opportunity when they served. I don't think that they did enough, and so now that we're faced with having to fix this crisis, I have to get the work done. A day after Prime Minister Davis called his administration's plans to fix the nation's energy crisis, the most ambitious energy reform agenda in the country's history, his energy minister was in front of the cameras reiterating that message. I am doing all my best to make sure that we get it right this time to make certain that we right our ship when it comes to making it equitable making sure it's affordable, making sure it's sustainable, and that we have resilient systems because of the, the nature of us being in a hurricane belt. A complete overhaul of BPL will cost over a billion dollars. The Davis administration says it is intent on meeting its objectives, which include bringing about affordable, clean, reliable energy. And so Energy Minister Colby Davis insists the government's two new pieces of legislation, criticized by opposition critics for being rushed, are absolutely necessary. But I don't think the opposition is in no position to criticize the government, because the opposition had four and a half years. We are amending a 2015 bill, which means they did nothing to the legislation while they sat as the government. Failing in this regard, Colby Davis pointed out repeatedly, is not an option. The reason I advise the Bahamian public that BPL has a $500 million debt is because I am now in a position as the minister with responsibility to find a solution of how we're paying down that debt. So everything is on the table as we are coming to solutions and possible ways in which we can right-size BPL. Right-sizing BPL is also putting them in a position to bring down their debt and make sure that they're able to facilitate continuous and on-time payments to the pension fund. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Corvell Pyfirm. Hello everyone, I'm Fern Carey. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things said and asked.